Minding your matters used to be pretty straightforward, but thanks to social networks and smartphones and webbing, the old <laughs> Emily Jeff's Post word. <laughs> the old Emily Post rules of etiquette may need some updating. Yes, and who better to do that than Mrs. Post's great granddaughter-in-law, Peggy Post, co-author of Etiquette: Manners for a New World, here to school us all this morning. Nice to have you with us. Well, thank you. We've um, got it here. It's weighty. It is. <laughs> it is weighty, and and I feel like in many ways necessary. And I'm sure I, I am guilty of many infractions in etiquette when it comes to technology. Uh, what do you think is the biggest misstep that you've seen, whether it be on Twitter, on Facebook, texting? So many people, by the way, this is all wonderful. Social networking is great. But so many people text or send a message, put up a picture without thinking. So the biggest mistake is putting something there, and then you can't get it back. It's, it's out there. Mm -hmm. It's not confidential, obviously, and it's permanent, even if you go off of whatever. If you stop your Facebook account, it's already there. It's still going to be there. So what's the golden rule? Is, it, is there a golden rule on, on social networking? Is it, is it remember that it will always be there? or? Remember that there's someone on the other side of the computer. That's the key thing. Don't post a friend's photo on Facebook that's going to embarrass him or her. Uh, think about what you do. Don't just blast somebody. Try to be civil on whether it's Facebook or Twitter or whatever. It's amazing and, to think that people would sling mud anonymously in this, in this day and age oh, yes. online. You have such a dry wit, Jeffrey Clark. <laughs> uh, but but there, there is a lot of that. And, yes. and that's why at one point, too, yeah. you say it's not just about pictures, but you say um, computers are people. Well, right behind that computer, there is a person. So just remember before, and you said, if someone knows who you are, that still doesn't make it okay to, to be uncivil. So think before posting. Let's talk Facebook specifically, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, because one of the questions that came up here um, was if you need to unfriend someone. <laughs> right. Can you do that? How do you do that? You ignore whatever they've sent you. And then after a while, uh, the person's friend list can, can go down. What I say don't do is break up with your boyfriend or girlfriend or your ex by way of Facebook. That's yeah. a face-to-face -face or at least a verbal encounter. It's really bad when all you do is change your Facebook status and you just wait <laughs> yes. for them to know yes. you you're no longer together. together. Yes. Um, you also say on Facebook it's okay to delete comments on your own page. So go back and decide, you know what, I wish I hadn't posted that. Sure. Yes, it's okay. So that's a good one to do. And untag yourself. I've done this. I don't like being tagged in pictures. I, I admit it, especially yeah. when they're pictures well, right. of my you have, kids. You should ask first. And right. I untag yeah, them. Yeah, right. absolutely. Right. Or have a conversation with your friend who might be putting those pictures up also. Um, we, we're talking a lot of politics here on the show, obviously. And a, a, a campaign season is already in, in, in full swing. We've heard that uh, you're not supposed to bring up politics at the dinner table. Is that, is that still true? Sometimes. <laughs> but it depends upon who you're with. At a big dinner party, be, be careful. Um, you could have an intelligent conversation. Just be calm about it. Don't go into a fight mode. Don't attack the person. You could talk about ideas, but if it gets heated, let's just agree to disagree. Just change the subject. Don't ruin the event for everybody. Um, real quickly, is it ever okay to have, let's say, your f everybody's so connected nowadays, you want to keep your phone, your Blackberry there, is it ever okay to have it on the table if you're having lunch with someone, if you're having dinner, if you're sitting next to your colleague at work? Anchoring the show. I mean, is, is it ever okay for it to be there? Uh, you're on call. Uh, your wife is about to have a baby. You might put it there. Uh, you're a doctor on call. But, but be discreet. Mm -hmm. Put it down below. Excuse yourself. Texting at the table drives people crazy. Always Think about the people yeah. you're with. And pay attention to them. Right. Not your messages That's that you're getting. That's the key. Never. But always pay, always nice. pay attention. Yeah. Nice to have you with us. Thank you, Peggy. Thank you.